Hi, I'm Robert. I'm a Loop Deck video specialist. I'm here to show you how to get started with our new Final Cut Pro plugin. I like Final Cut Pro because it's so fast and easy to use. And with Loop Deck it's now even faster and easier. It really creates a better workflow. Loop Deck is designed to be a out-of-the-box plug-and-play device. To browse your media files in your library, you just need to scroll this big dial called Control Dial. When you scroll it, it goes to the next clip in your library. Let's select this beautiful African sunset here. To find a, a mark in and mark out points, we are using D2 dial. It moves five frames at a time. And to find an exact point, we are using function and D2, meaning we are now moving one frame at a time. This looks good here. So to mark in, we just press C3 like that and we find the perfect mark out that's there. C4 is mark out and now to transfer the selected lip to the timeline we just press function and alt and there it is. To navigate on your timeline we just need to activate our timeline like that and to move around on your timeline is basically just the same as it was in your library so D2 and a big control dial here. We have so many functions that we can uh, use on our timeline. All the basic functions like blade tool, just hitting D2, it uses blade. Hitting clarity, it trims the clip. We can even, with D1, we can zoom our, our timeline. Color grading with Loop Deck is amazing. It's so fast and easy. We just need to go and find a clip we want to adjust. We have all the basic controls here. We have contrast, exposure, saturation. We've even built a full support for color wheels. So hit the custom mode and we can control our shadows and highlights and mid zones like that. Doing this fine adjustments to your color wheels. We all know that it's basically impossible with your trackpad or your, with your mouse. So when you just get used to this, there's no way of going back. You can even do color grading in full screen mode. Just hit the screen mode and pause the video and here you go. This is amazing for everyone who's been using single screen mode before. You don't have to be staring at your small preview window anymore. This might be not that useful for everyone who's using two screens, one with the full screen mode and one with all the adjustments, but for the single screen users, this is a game changer. Customizing Loop Deck is made very simple. All we need to do is open our Loop Deck software. I will be using a lot of vector scope today, so I want to assign it to a button. This time it's going to be P6. So I just click the P6, type vector scope, click it, and I'm done. Another function I'm going to use a lot is uh, notch horizontally. I just type notch horizontally, click it, and I'm done. Now when I go back to Final Cut Pro, all the changes I made are ready to use. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. This was just a small glimpse of all the features Loop Deck offers. How you would like to control your workflow is entirely up to you.